Hello friends, this is Svetlana Dronska. Today I would like to share with you how we create an image like this. You can see I got a lot of questions, personal messages on different media, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and we decided to create a video tutorial and to show how we did image like this. I didn't get the moving train in camera. The train just stopped when we were shooting because I expected the, it to move, but so I decided I will create something in Photoshop. Okay, this is the image we got from the train standing behind my mom. What I would like to do, let's use the select tool and select, select my mom. All right, we select, make sure you pick up all, make sure you have all her fingers, oops, all her fingers dress hand a little bit over here and now the dress or the ha hair and now hair okay okay dokie so we selecting the hair So we need all her beautiful hair here, and let's do over there too. All right, maybe a little bit over here. Okay, we got her hair. Let's check it again. We don't care much about feet because we gonna apply blur only for moving train, not the feet. All right, let's hit select and mask. And we'll add, we'll, I would like to pick up all her beautiful hair. Over there, awesome, okay. Awesome, got it. All right, hit control J, K, key, control key, or just copy uh, the selection to a new layer name it mom and make sure it's invisible all right so now go back to background layer duplicate it and go to clone tool and we need to erase mom from this from this photo, from this layer. All right. You can use any way possible. Content aware. Um, I don't know, other thing that you know. This is what I'm using. Clone tool works, worked all time. Okay, but honestly, we have to be very careful over there. Very neat. Even though we're gonna dest distort the background, we still need it nice and neat to make. Because if I got uh, messages like "What was your settings?", nobody asked "What was it?" Can you show the tutorial how you Photoshop it? So means that was uh, truly precise, or how to say it, uh, real, realistic. It was truly realistic. So let's let's work on the bottom part. Okay, we need only this part because only the train part was moving. So we don't need to blur um, the, the floors or pavement. Okay, maybe I will add a, a little more over here. Okay, cool. Since we are remaining in this duplicate layer, layer and let's go to filter, blur, and motion blur. As you see, angle is zero, and just add. I have this number that I liked. I think on my previous image was even more. Let's add, for example, this is example. This is only the way you like. We can do just a little bit or more. Just any number, pick the number or works for you. Okay. 
I like the strip. It's just somewhere. Somewhere here. Click OK. And now add the mask with a black brush. Bring back all the detail, the detail that never moved in the subject. So, so let's move over there. Yeah. Go back. All right. All right. Cool. Now, maybe on a two twenty percent. Let add a little bit over here. Opacity twenty percent. I meant. Okay. Cool. And now, let's add our mom. Worked. Let's see. So we have to work a little more on the hair. So let's go to our mom's layer. Click Shift. Control X for PS. And what I like to do is just maybe I should have I should do this before the before I edit, but that's fine. We just all this okay and over here a little bit this dress cool. All right. You can flatten the image or merge. Use clone tool and in my case with the flaw like 35, 30, 20. We'll see. Maybe even 20 will work. Oops. On her hair. To create as more natural look as possible. What I like to do later, so do not have this. Yeah, I like how hair appear over there, just only over there, over here. Okay. Awesome. Also, to edit this image more, I will use levels just to give. A little more contrast and make this dress even bluer <laughs> so and I like the the idea of this blue and this blue and the yellow on a train and on the floor and also her leopard tint uh, shoes with a red and red usually I would remove something like this but in this case I want to have all these colors repeatable background all right, I think that if that's work for you, thumbs up. If not, uh, let me know before putting this dislike button. Let me know why. And thank you for watching. Thank you for uh, for um, following us. We love you. Make sure uh, to subscribe to our channel. If you're here first time, yes, this is my accent. And um, maybe it's hard for beginners to understand, but you'll get used to it if you like us. And don't forget to hit this bell button to get notified when my Andrew will post a video. Thank you for being with us. We love you. Bye-bye. Before bye-bye. I didn't show you before and after. All right. Let's see. This is... This is before. This is after. This is before. This is after. Much more interesting. Much more interesting. She will... She's pop up from the from this background so this is before this is after okay now goodbye